The sheeting takeoff feature implemented in Pamir version 2022.4c saves customers time. To illustrate this enhancement, open the roof ribbon, click the sheeting dropdown, and click Automatic Sheeting. The sheeting takeoff is created in a matter of seconds. Zoom in and notice that every sheet has a label corresponding to the sheet's length. However, when you place a dimension on a sheet, the dimension does not match the sheet's label or length. This is because the dimension is on flat as opposed to at an angle. To calculate the sheet's length, use the Triangle Geometry tool to calculate the hypotenuse, 2065 in this example. Now, take this result and add the industry standard 50 millimeters to it, and then round to the nearest centimeter, 2,120 in this example, which matches the sheet label in Pamir. To view sheeting in plan view, press F6. In this example, a new schema has been created for sheeting. Note that this schema is not created by default and that customers should create it on their own. Also, make sure that the Framing Zone label is turned on. With this option visible, the Framing Zone and the Sheeting label are both visible. To make changes to the sheeting properties, double click the Sheeting label. Sheeting properties including sheeting material, are displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. For sheeting output, many customers want a report that indicates each sheet and where it is located on the plan. To generate this report, click the output icon and press F6. Here, a custom schema has been created for sheeting only. Note that this schema is not created by default and that customers should create it on their own. Customers using the sheeting takeoff feature should also create a sheeting schema in 3D view. In addition, customers need an order sheet that can be sent to their sheeting supplier. Click File, Settings, Search for Path, Highlight Base Path, and configure the Project Data Excel path. Set the drop-down menu to Disk and verify the default path. This is an important step so that you can generate an Excel spreadsheet by clicking Ctrl-P to access the Output Manager. Here, turn on Project Data, select Excel, and click Print. After generating the output file, the Excel spreadsheet is saved to the default path. Open the spreadsheet and the sheeting tab to view every sheet in the project. Use the information in this tab, along with any custom formulas, to create a sheeting order form. The default sheeting material is IBR. This can be changed by pressing F4 and searching for sheet. Here, in the inventory, there is corrugated, IBR, and clip lock sheets. Another way to access the material is to double click the sheeting label and change the material in the property grid. As soon as you select a new material, the plan updates. To create a custom material, click the material hyperlink in the property grid to open your material settings. In this example, change the corrugated material to 910 millimeters and click OK. Finally, note that sheets are always laid out left to right and top to bottom. However, the layout can be changed by selecting the sheeting, right-clicking, and selecting Change SOP. Then, select the new layout point. 
To summarize, with Premier version 2022.4c, a powerful new automatic sheeting feature saves customers time when calculating the sheeting required for a project. 